Well, hello. I rated my most recent trip to China as a 10 out of 10, and that's what we hope visitors to New Zealand do, including tourists. Whether they come for a wild adventure to escape the northern winter by enjoying our summer, or to see where hobbits really live when they're at home, we hope that when our visitors depart, they leave as ambassadors for the New Zealand experience. Every host wants their visitor to have a good time. But there's more riding on tourism than just that. Make no mistake, it's a very important industry for New Zealand. With around about 2 million visitors coming here a year, tourism directly contributes more than $6 billion to the New Zealand economy. It directly supports about 120,000 full-time equivalent jobs, including in hospitality and, of course, transport. More tourists bluntly means more jobs. That is a good reason for us to want to grow the industry in a sustainable way. Having a beautiful country and a reputation for great food and wine are perfect starting points for attracting tourists. But that doesn't mean there aren't challenges. Other countries also want international visitors, and the wealthier they are, the more choices those tourists have. Attracting them here is a competitive business, even with some of the beautiful lodges and scenery that we have on offer. On top of that challenge, we're a long way away from where most people live, and right now our dollar's pretty high. But there's real potential for growth in tourism, which is why I've announced that this year's budget will have an extra $158 million of spending in tourism over the next four years. Some of that will go to marketing New Zealand to high-value tourists. When they get here, we want them to sample a range of experiences. The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films show what can be achieved by combining stunning scenery and creative talent. Showcasing our country and our creativity are a natural fit. I've hosted many overseas leaders here who are impressed by the beauty of our country. But we want visitors to take something away on top of their photo of a rugged mountain range or a beautiful lake. We want them to have felt the warmth and personality of New Zealanders. After all, the landscape is only one part of what makes this a great country to live in and visit. Dedicated people work in the tourism industry day and night. But there's a role for all of us in sharing the Kiwi spirit when we get the opportunity. We can help visitors to feel at home in our home. So when they're asked to rate their time in New Zealand, they say 10 out of 10 as well.